There was a young guy on the ABC's Q&A show the other night with a tub-thumping speech about nuclear power. And while we all had to get on board, clean energy, he said, was rousing, but it was also wrong. The, the cost, this is clearly getting us nowhere. The cost of nuclear is clearly highly contentious. And you know what the best way to find out the cost of nuclear energy is? It's to lift the nuclear energy ban because yeah, at yeah. that point... We'll see. Because we'll see. at that point, you can actually see nuclear reactors, what they will cost, because at this stage, no company is able to propose for a nuclear reactor to be built in this country. And to what the uh, Minister for Climate Change and Energy said about it being a distraction, well... Look, we should have all options on the table. And what I would say is I'd bring out... This is the ban on nuclear energy. It's a single A4 piece of paper. And if the government was serious about reaching net zero and having a guaranteed path to net zero, well, they'd get rid of this. They'd get rid of this prohibition. And I think that is how you solve climate change, is having all options on the table. That's how you end the climate wars. And I think it's particularly disappointing when... I think everyone had great hope when the Prime Minister came out and said that this government would end the climate wars, and that's myself included. I was really optimistic for that. But when you look to a government which has prejudices against certain solutions, I think it's disingenuous to claim that the climate wars are ending. And, you know, I'm not going to let the coalition op off it either because, well, obviously the nuclear energy ban was introduced under the Howard government, like the Minister said. I think we, this should be a uniting issue around nuclear. The facts are in. You can see the global evidence. And I think it's time that, at very least, Australia considers lifting the ban on nuclear energy. Allegra. OK. I'm going <laughs> to... The problem with nuclear power is not that it's not green. This is clean energy and it works. The problem, of course, is, well, let's forget about Chernobyl. And don't you worry about Fukushima. The problem, of course, is the cost and the time to build a nuclear plant. It's a bit like carbon capture and storage, which we are subsidising with our taxes for multinational companies. It doesn't work. The whole point of the nuclear debate is to create a political distraction. Can you imagine how long it would take Australia to get its act together to build a nuclear plant? 20 or 30 years, maybe? They all blow out in times of cost and time frame projections. All the ones currently underway overseas, or most of them, have blown out. So why do they do it? because they just want to create a distraction from wind, solar, hydro and batteries. Cheap energy, which is the future and which works, and that experts, not like this bloke, this young guy from the IPA, that's Rupert Murdoch's originated think tank, the extreme right wingers, who don't actually know what they're talking about. He's not a scientist. He's a token guy to get the ABC's audience down below the 87 year old average. Peter Dutton, of course, is on board as well. He's been claiming that Canada produces 60% of its energy from nuclear power. Now, if you look at what's happening in Canada, where 60% uh, of their energy source comes from nuclear, they pay half the electricity price that we do here. There are 50 countries in the world either using or looking to use nuclear technologies, the latest nuclear technologies, which are zero emissions. Uh, so why would those countries, uh, including the United Kingdom, the United States, France, Canada, why would those countries see the latest nuclear technology as a viable way and a credible way to get to net zero by 2050? But Chris Bowen doesn't. That's wrong. It's 60% from hydro and about 15% from nuclear power. The whole thing is just a cesspool of misinformation. If you look at the SMRs, SMRs are small modular reactors. They're said to be the future by the nuclear lobby. The problem too is that they don't work. There's only about three or four working in the world at the moment. They run over budget as well. If they did work, we would be building a lot of SMRs. Check out our coverage on the website. If you'd like to support independent journalism like us here at The West Report and Michael West Media, you can support us on Patreon and you can like, comment and share the videos below.